Hey, my name is Daniel, and today I want to be talking about the Mapex Daredevil that just recently released. It shipped to my house not a few days ago, and I've been really enjoying it. Now, um, before I get into the figure, I want to talk about the uh, the box here. It's standard Mapex uh, fare. You have some comic panels on the side. All of it's pretty classic, so that's why I'm generally going to be basing my expectations for how it should look off of. Is that a uh, older artwork, which makes sense, you know? Yeah, uh, it has the uh, traditional, you know, comic patterns, all the stuff that you expect out of Mayfex boxes. I like that it's all the reds that he is. I mean, like, yeah, I like that the Daredevil thing is red, right? But it's just nice, especially because it's the the darker shades with the lighter shades. It doesn't feel like if it was just all like two similar shades of red, it would be bothersome. But because it's this borderline brown shade, it's uh, it's it's quite nice. I mean. It's like other Mafex boxes. It's cute. It's nice. I mean, not cute. It's cool. It's nice. I guess it would display well if you are uh, into that kind of thing. But getting into the figure, which is really exciting. Now, I don't have many Mafex figures. I've been meaning to change that. I have the Mafex Spider-Man. Um, but aside from that, I mean, I don't really, off the top of my head, I don't think I have any other Mafex figures. Which is, uh, I don't know, I guess surprising. I feel like everyone's always, like, collecting Mafex at every turn. And they're like, the end-all be-all in Marvel collecting sometimes, but... You know, so often I find myself going with alternatives or just not getting around to it. So, when I saw this Mayfix Daredevil and it got shown, I was disillusioned with a lot of the Marvel Legends Daredevils. I'm disillusioned with Marvel Legends as a line in general. So when I saw this, it was almost an instant, I need to have that. Placed my pre-order, and I kind of just forgot about it for months. And then I remembered, in like September, I was like, oh yeah... Daredevil ships, and so I kind of checked on it, got delayed, but it arrived, and it's here, in front of me, in front of you. So uh, to start with articulation, because I know that's the thing everyone cares about with uh, Mafex, <laughs> we have a traditional Mafex fair. You have two ball joints at the, the I guess the hips. I, uh, this is the hips, bottom of the waist diaphragm. Yeah, that works. Um, for crunch, pretty damn good. I mean, that's like a solid little over 45, I feel. Um, for the neck, you get basically all the way down. And it, whoop, pretty fair up. Arms go way up, including the, including the, uh, butterflies, which is nice. Fair bit forward in terms of like, you know, just moving forward. That's nice. I appreciate that. Legs kick all the way up. Don't kick too much back. I always appreciate leg kickback. I think that's uh, something that figures could improve upon. It's more it's more useful than you think, really. I find some. some. Oh yeah, also great tilt. Mafex is always really good with their tilt. Something I really like about their stuff. Articulation is always the most boring subject for me. Oh, crazy tilt. Is that, am I just doing this wrong on this side? I might be doing it wrong. I have, I have ten, yeah. Yeah, basically insane tilt. Even better than before. <laughs> I always, articulation is always a boring subject for me because it's always just like, oh, the thing. I could talk about anything else right now. I could just be like telling you about my day while I do this. That's all you need to do. Also, his, uh, <laughs> yeah, you can do that. Kind of funny. But, yeah. Getting into the figure's looks, I really enjoy the aesthetic here. You have, most uh, Daredevil figures will have a base red, and then they'll have a darker tone of red for the accessories, like the D, uh, maybe they're his eyes, the belt, so on and so forth. This actually does effectively the opposite. It uses the darker tone as the base tone and the lighter tone for the accessory. And I think that's much better. It provides... It actually has, like, a better... It feels more representative of the comic art. Now, I will say, I'm a bit of a snob about comic art. I think that we often grossly misinterpret it. I think that the way Daredevil suit is shaded, to me, implies a leathery to borderline glossy 
shiny, like almost like metallic, even though like it's not metal, but you know what I mean. That kind, that kind of look, and maybe like a uh, velvet kind of. I yeah, velvet leather, generally like latex, is where I picture Daredevil's costume being. So, even though this isn't that, because it's a darker tone, it gives off that same kind of look because you know this was where all the black would be, and there's a slight like wash if I bring it up close. Yeah, I don't know if you can totally see it, but there's a slight wash there. It's pretty nice. The figure is also quite glossy, as you can see. I mean, not, I guess not glossy. On camera, it's coming up, seemingly, as a lot shinier than it really is. So it's a fault in my lighting, but yeah. Oh yeah, his elbows bend. His elbows bend pretty much as much as you want him to. His elbows bend as pretty much as, mu as much as you want him to, if you were wondering, by the way. I didn't feel like I to go over that. It's double jointed, you know what to expect. The figure comes with about as much as you would want for your Daredevil. It comes with quite a bit. Um, what's always most interesting to me is the, uh, the alternate heads. I like the head shape they chose from. I like the bald build they chose from. Very athletic, but also is, you know, strong looking. The head is just, a, this is the base head. It's a neutral expression. Stoic, you know, this is the, if he's not doing, like, if he's not actively angry or yelling, you know, this is what you're probably going to have him win. It's nice. I mean, I like it. Next is the yelling head. I mean, it's self-explanatory. You can have this when he's, like, gripping his head in pain, you know. Someone yelled a little too loud, so he's he's fucking dying. <laughs> or, you know, when he's angry, he's gonna kill somebody. He's gonna look at their kid and be like, I'm not the bad guy. And he's gonna keep repeating it to himself all movie. And, of course, on the figure itself, I have this, uh, this kind of angry, frustrated... This is my favorite, because it's just kind of... It's neutral. He's upset, but he's not yelling. So this is the one I generally just keep on him. For most occasions. Looks nice. I like the way he grits his teeth. It's very, uh... Figures often, I think, have to find the balance between exaggerating the expression to get the emotion across and being realistic depictions of the expression, and I think this is a good balance. Mayfix is pretty good at that. On top of that, we also have some other stuff. We have a variety of hands, you know. These are some open hands. Uh, I guess it's just for neutral poses. If he's not doing anything with his hands, that those work. You have these open splayed hands, I guess, for, like, gestures. If he's flying through the air, those work. Right now on him, I have these kind of grippy, grabby hands, and those are one of my favorites. They do a really good job of making him look angry. This is a figure that looks pissed, like, all the time. He wants to kill you. He wants to maul you. He's, an ups he's upset. So it's nice, and I like to use those. It, it depends on the situation, though, you know. Sometimes I find that they're really specific but sometimes i can just put them on and like never take them off he has these open like kind of karate chop hands that i haven't used um i mean i guess you could find a use for them i just haven't uh, and then you have his respectively his fists and his grippy hands his grippy hands are actually if i can focus on them here yeah they're closed so they're just meant to hold the billy clubs and nothing else which i guess is fine not too much of an issue. You also have these swappable thigh holders. One with one billy club in it. The other with no billy club in it. And the one I have on them now is the one with all billy club in it. So that's nice. I mean, it. I am glad they thought of that. I feel like a lot of figures just don't even have the holder. I mean, I, I'd have to check, but... It's not, it's not something that's thought of, or or it's empty and you know, it's where they can store it, but, you know. You also have the clubs themselves. They're fair. I mean, you know, they're just, it's a white stick. <laughs> what are you going to do? You have the Mayfex stand. Not too good, not too bad. Average stand. You have a bigger clamp for it, I guess, if there's a bigger character you want to use. I don't know. There's a, there's a purpose for this, I'm sure. I think this is an extender piece. I'm not quite sure what this is. I'm... Actually, I wonder. I don't know. 
These pieces were always mysteries to me. I, I never quite knew what they were. I know I could just look it up, I'm sure. But also, of course, one of the biggest stars of the show is the Billy Clubs with the wires. You can really get some work done with these if you are creative. It takes a little bit of balancing, however. But, I mean, these are going to get you your most dynamic poses. You have one where the Billy Clubs are connected and one where it's just one Billy Club. So you can get some good results out of that. Now, I mean, this is a, this is a bit of a brief video because I mean, I, I do love this figure. I'm not I'm like like ranting and raving about it, but I do love this figure. It feels really nice in hand. Um, not everything feels sturdy. I don't feel like anything's gonna break. It looks nice. It's definitely the definitive Daredevil figure right now. Um, I don't know if it's actually still on any major shops. I would imagine it's still up. I mean, it's not like... It's not... I guess, now that word's out and everyone's, like, ranting about how cool it is, maybe it's gonna be sold out, but... I don't know. I haven't checked. This It's just really fun. I do really recommend it if you need a Daredevil figure. I definitely recommend it over Marvel Legends where, like, everything's printed on. This this figure has an actual, real sculpted detail. I know. They can, uh... They, 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 they paid off the sculptor to finally, like, do their job a little bit more. I, that's mean, actually. They, uh, they paid themselves the care to ask the sculptor to do their job. <laughs> to give them the opportunity, the privilege, to be able to actually sculpt something. Yeah, he's great. Great posability. He will probably pair well with your other figures. Um, he'll obviously pair well with your other Mafexes. I think he'll pair well with your SH Figure Arts Final Swing Spider-Man. Um, actually, I'll get into comparisons. I, I almost completely forgot to do those. One moment. Here we have it next to the SH Figure Arts Final Swing Spider-Man, as well as the Toy Biz uh, Bullseye figure. And I think it pairs very nicely with the, uh, the Final Swing Spider-Man. I think you can get it to work next to your uh, Toy Biz Bullseye. This is the bullseye I use. I really love it. <laughs> I uh, I always have fun posing him whenever I do pick him up. But um, it's a little bit of a more exaggerated physique on the Toy Biz one. I mean, as Toy Biz typically did, they would uh, exaggerate features a lot. But I think it can work. I think you can get some photos done. Maybe if you don't put them too close to each other, you don't keep one too in focus. You don't keep them like both in super like high detailed focus. But uh, yeah, I think they'll pair well. I think these two will pair nicely. Obviously, the Mafex is probably going to pair the nicest. They're literally made for each other, but... I think this works really nice, especially if you're going for, like, a teenage Spidey. I use the Final Swing Spider-Man as my primary Spidey. I really love this figure. Someday, I wanted to do, like, a massive review of, like, all my Spider-Man figures, like, in comparison to one another. That could be fun. Maybe someday. Um, but yeah, I think this is a really nice comparison. These will go well. You'll, you'll do well with these. Now, here it is next to your Marvel Select Captain America and your Revel Tech Version 1 Spider-Man. Um, I don't really think Version 1 Spider-Man is going to work very well with this. I mean, you could try. You could probably get it done. I feel like you could take some cool photos, especially with the posing opportunities of Version 1 Spider-Man. But I don't think like visually they line up with one another. Um, same would go for the Mezco. That's not going to line up quite well. I don't even think that's going to scale super well. And as you can see, your Marvel Selects is going to tower over him. And while I think that this Marvel Select, you know, being really big in comparison to, like, your Spideys is fine. Because, you know, he's a little, he's younger, and I picture Steve being a big guy anyways. Like, the height disparity... Disparity? That's not a word. <laughs> the uh, the difference in height, it, it, it works out. With this, I don't really agree. I think that Daredevil at least should be... At least above, like, neck, shoulder height to Cap. Maybe if you, like, frame it, like, if Cap's in the distance, this could work. But just next to each other, I don't think it's going to work out super well. Um, I know the Mafex Cap just came out. I didn't order that. I didn't quite like how it looked. But um, that'll obviously work better. Maybe it'll work nicer with your 20th anniversary Cap. I have it up there. I just don't feel like grabbing it, to be honest. But, Yeah. And here we have Daredevil next to, of course, his, uh, born on the same day, basically like, uh, I don't know if I call them superheroes, twins, fictional twins, 
dramatic irony twins, maybe. The, uh, like some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Next to the Super 7 Michelangelo, to be specific, in the Fury Toys Spring, not Leonardo. Um, I actually think that he probably could work with your Super 7. He might obviously work nicer with the 6-inch Turtles. Uh, maybe one of your Mirage guys, but this this should work out fine. Um, I, I'm, I'm okay with the Turtles being looking larger than humans. It doesn't, it doesn't really bother me too much. Maybe it bothers you, but I think this works. Um, it could also work. I think you could pull it off with your Fury Rage Rave toys, Turtles. That Those are a little more realistic and detailed, though. So, honestly, those might actually might work nicer with, like, I mean, I guess uh, Mayfex, not Mayfex, uh, live-action MCU Daredevil doesn't actually have that many figures, but... Maybe this out would be nicer with your live action stuff, the uh, Fury toys. But I mean that could work too. I mean if you're just into the, the look. I think it fits. I would imagine another set that also would look nice is the Revel Tech, uh, turtles for the 2012 series. I think that would pair nicely. I don't own those figures, but those would be good. What are some other ones that would be nice? Uh, your Mirage turtles, obviously. Those will fit. I mean, you know, with barring you know, the NECA comic shading, the O eight set, the uh, recent, I don't know, if, I, I don't want to call them the Lost insects. I don't think it's technically accurate, but that's like the easy way to refer to them. The newer Mirage line, you know, the City of War ones. I mean, those will fit nicely. I think most turtles will fit with this. Just be careful, like the level of detail, I guess. Or you know, don't <laughs> you don't need to listen to me. Do whatever looks nice to you. But yeah. In the end, I do love this figure. I think it's a great Daredevil figure, as I said earlier. Um, it's going to pair nicely with the other figures. Most Mafex comic figures are going to be... I don't want to say universal scalers, because, you know, sometimes they're a little short if you care about height. Like, if you're really specific about the heights, I guess this this might uh, disqualify... Let's say like your Marvel Select releases. Uh, borrowing, like, big figures, obviously, your Marvel Select Thanos is going to fit... But yeah, I mean, I absolutely recommend this guy. You, I think Daredevil's a must-have in your collection. I think you should probably find a way to get him. Um, obviously, with Disney being evil, um, it'd be great if you could find it secondhand, of course, but I'm not your mom. Do what you do. But yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a lovely evening.